Hi, I'm Amelia, and today I'm here with Rich from All Star Sports, where they test a lot of baseball equipment. So how do you come up with like new ways to test the equipment? That's a great question, Amelia. You know, we're always trying to not only come up with new equipment, but make sure that we're testing it the right way, because if we were doing the wrong test, then we may think that we're keeping somebody safe, when really we could be doing something better for them based on the exact situation that they're using it. So, you know, we showed you in our lab that we currently do drop tests for our helmets where we drop it onto a rounded anvil. And that's supposed to be the same as getting hit with a bat, but really you're hitting a bat with your head, not hitting your head with a bat. So it's kind of backwards. And we've been trying to figure out, is there a better way to do that? What this is, is this is a, um, it's a skeet thrower. But what we did is we clamped a bat down to it. And so this is a little unpredictable, but do you want to try it? Definitely. Okay, let's try this. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh my God. So engineering can be a lot of fun when you get to do this stuff. That's so cool. That model outside was so cool. It was like so much fun. How did you get from that to this one? So uh, I went to school at Worcester Polytechnic Institute down in Worcester, right down the road and I contacted one of the professors that I work with there to find out if there's any students that wanted to work on a project that really would fit with real life, because that can make all these projects a lot more fun if you know why you're doing it. So a great group of students there, they spent their senior year actually designing this machine for us, and then they did some work to study how it worked as well. They wanted to be able to swing at least 20 miles an hour and hopefully get close to 30 miles an hour, so again, we can simulate a real life situation. 